There is only one of you, only one of me. Welcome back everyone, I hope you had an amazing week and you are doing well so far. If you are new here, my name is Adriana, I am a mom to a two-year-old boy, his name is Christian. We live in Northern Ireland, in a small city called Bangimina. So today's video is our downstairs, uh, mostly all of it was done before Christmas birthday party. The only thing that I did clean after was our laundry room as it became just you know the ketchup zone wherever we didn't need and we needed out of the way we just put it inside Our kitchen wasn't too bad as always, dishes, counters, quickly to you know go around with everything, cleaning uh, the counters and the cabinets, the floors and the kitchen was pretty quick and fast to clean. Our weekend was crazy. Chris's birthday party was a success. He was so happy. However, I didn't get to film. Uh, I did film his birthday party preparation, but I didn't get to edit it and I didn't even get to finish his uh, room makeover. I am hoping I will be able to do it this week, however, um, I am exhausted. I am not feeling very uh, very good, I mean, everything is okay with me and with the baby girl, it's just I am super tired, so 
I am taking everything very, very, very slowly. So hopefully it will pass soon and I'll be able to finish his room this week, latest next week. midwife appointment I will be 37 weeks pregnant and we'll see uh, whether baby girl is still head down or she did it turn again we will hopefully we'll have a scan uh, yeah hopefully we'll have a scan uh, to see and check approximately how how big she is uh, just to you know kind of see uh, what size we can expect her to be we what else we need to do this week yeah that, I think that's that's the main thing go for the need of appointment and then we'll go for the weekend uh, I do need to uh, tidy up her room again we did got a lot of clothes for her the second hand and I just had to wash them as the lady told that they were for quite a while in the bean bag so they they were clean but they did get the smell of the bean bag so before putting them into her room and inside the wardrobe or in the boxes I just wanted to wash them so I did wash almost all of them and I'm thinking that maybe when I will be uh putting them back and folding them i might actually make a vlog together with it so it will be mainly me you know i will be folding the clothes but i will be i will be talking and let me know if you want to see this kind of thing and if you want to hear our previous birth story with Chris and my 
my birth uh, birth trauma that I did went through with it and how this is affecting me right now when we are approaching labor again how do I feel and what what actually happened the last time so let me know if you want to see this if not if you will I will I will, I will record it and I will put it on if not then I will just I will probably just sit over and be vlog it even for myself so I can watch it again and just see how I feel now and how I will feel after after she will be born. So the next one uh, up will be our uh, small bathroom in the hallway. Those things were pretty quick to clean, so I will not talk too much about them. Let's just focus on the cleaning and enjoy it.
Friday mor morning, morning, afternoon. Chris wasn't cooperating at all. He didn't let me do anything. Uh, at some point, uh, I was just annoyed with him. I was just as soon as I started cleaning something, he was messing around, trying to mess everything up. So I was basically just sitting, uh, leaving it as it was, and I'm just waiting for him to finally come down and sit down. As you, as you will see. Is constantly in the way, but that's okay. He's a toddler, he will be free this Thursday. So I know I need to remind myself constantly right now that he's just a three year old. He's really pushing his limit, you know, testing how far he can go with us right now. I know it's a stage that we just need to wait for it to pass, but it's getting harder and harder, especially with me that I am unable to, you know, move as fast as I was and easily and him trying to jump off the furniture so destroying things is, is adding me work that I am unable to do as fast as I was doing before. Carmen is working this week and next week from office and then he will be still working every day but he will be working from home. So I am hoping I will be able to get some sleep. Uh, don't get me wrong, I am sleeping quite a lot, but it's not enough. I just spoke with Carmel about this and I forgot, but Carmel reminded me that when I was pregnant with Chris by the, the last month of the pregnancy, I was basically, you know, sleeping 12 hours during the night and I was taking naps during the day because I was so tired. Right now, uh, if I will catch uh, on seven hours sleep during the day, I mean, during the night, that's good. I am unable to take any naps, of course, because of Chris and everything. So hopefully she will stay here. She will stay there until due date. So when Kami will start uh, working from home, you know, and he will not have any meeting or anything, um, phone call or so, those sort of things. I will just, I will just take Chris upstairs to him, and so Chris will watch the cartoon or anything, and I will just take a quick nap downstairs because I do feel that my body needs needs some sleep, needs some rest, much more rest than before. But you know, having a toddler that will move the chair in the kitchen next to the counters and trying to grab everything and open the cabinets or basically trying to harm himself while playing um, 
it's not ideal because I know myself I will not fall asleep like fully fall asleep I will have my eyes closed but I won't be sleeping which will not give me any rest which is no point so hopefully hopefully I will catch up on some sleep and I will try to post the video for his birthday party and room makeover this week if I will not manage to do it, I'm sorry, but uh, I will not uh, overdo myself, that's for sure. Uh, sorry about the noise, uh, Chris, uh, he went to take a bath, of course he doesn't like to take a bath, but then he doesn't like to leave the bath, so it's his, his stage right now. And I hope next week I will have my video up for the last nest with me, the end of the preparation for our baby girl to arrive and maybe the one that I will uh, I will do the vlog about the birth trauma and everything but honestly everything at this point is working out like I'm taking day by day if I will able to do it, I will do it. If I won't be able to do it, I will not do it. So that's that's for sure. You said things could only get better. I need it more than ever. They don't, 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 don't.
was yours for the taking Guess I needed a home But if I'm not mistaken You were good on your own oh. And I know, and I know I was drunk enough Didn't know, didn't know it would mess me up, yeah Now I'm truly awakened, oh. So you wanna talk again But it's time I do this my way Cause I'm happy 
subscribing already please do leave a like comment and subscribe and stay tuned for the next video once again thank you so much for watching and being here with us bye